I know who you are. I know why you clicked on this video. I know what kind of man you are. And I won't disappoint. I know you are here for the best oh! gameplay one has to offer. And I'm gonna give it to clip. you. Someone in chat clipped that immediately. But it all begins a few weeks ago. You see, I was sick and tired of getting my ass handed to me by these damn phantoms. And I was also running into unfathomable bad luck when it came to mining. Bored of the nether and sick of inefficiently farming mobs and tired of not progressing, I decided to say screw it and finally storm that nether structure. And within, I found an item that would change the game forever, a tarot card. One which, if held in my inventory, would stop gold items from breaking. And for those unaware, gold items have around the same mining speed as diamond, but have the durability of wood. To compensate, they have the unique ability to enchant much better than other items in the game. And also additionally, well at least in this mod pack, they have either uh, fortune or looting just built in. With the tarot card in tow and efficiency enchanted gold pick in hand, we started gaming. It wasn't long before we found more, one which gave XP on damage, which meant that future mending would go actually crazy, one which increased my luck, which is uh, cool I guess, I'm not sure how that works, and uh, then one that also increased my jump height, which I don't know if I like or not, but it's interesting enough. And then, one that I really really like, one which is godly, insane, amazing. Best thing ever. With these cards and now new items, I became quite a rich guy. Being able to double most of my ores and not having to worry about lights as much, which was incredibly great. From there on, I began gaming. After doing some exploring, I had my first saddle and after some persuasion I finally got my first horse. And after using it literally once, I found a speed boost tarot card, so uh, sorry bro, uh, you're already irrelevant. Kinda like this channel. <laughs> With a decent amount of lapis I acquired, it was finally time to start fixing my enchanting table setup. So off I went found a random structure with bookshelves, and with my looting two axe, I had more than enough books. And this was far more optimal than grinding out leather, and just made me happy. And within a short time frame, I had a level 30 enchant setup. Neat. Next on my to-do list was to finally get off my ass and finish that blast furnace, and what do you know, with a fast pickaxe and a fortune 2 shovel, you can gather these resources lickety split. In fact, I overdid it, however due to how slow this shit is, I will need to make another one fairly soon. Anyway. I began making a new exit from the nether, in hopes to find some more interesting shit as where I spawned sucks major balls. And before long, I found a new sprawling site that opened up to new biomes, generating new structures and also giving me new resources such as killing these stupid ass pigs for much more food, as well as finally a decently optimal ender pearl farm. Finally sick of exploring, I came back and went to work on crafting the flesh plunderer. Funnily enough, it's been like three episodes since I last progressed in the main questline. That just goes to show how stupid dealing with these mobs can be. Anyway. 
I needed to find animals for each of the vanilla Minecraft mates. Easy enough, is what I thought. I couldn't fucking find sheep anywhere, and I kept getting railed by all the Herobrine mobs, and I don't even, don't even get me started on those one-hit kill rabbits. That shit's just unbelievable. For the last... I killed a sheep, finally giving me what I needed. Finally, I crafted the Flesh Plunderer, a weapon that's fine, I guess, but has no durability, but oh well. Now, this is where you'd naturally assume that I'd keep progressing down this path and continuing the progression line linearly. A fucking course I didn't do that, so this is what I did. You see those stupid signs that keep bothering me that get placed everywhere? Well, they constantly mention the Aether, a dimension that is the reverse of the nether, that if you grew up playing with Bionicles and Power Miner Lego, you'd know that it is infamous history of ruining childlike wonder. You see, after that fateful day in my younger years, I swore to never again build the Aether Portal, to save myself from my greatest betrayal. However, I decided that I really wanted to give it a go, and that I may have grown up since then, and with anxious energy, I began constructing the portal. And with the construction done, there was only one thing left to do. Yes! Yes, it's really, it's real! With my hope restored, I completely ignored this text down the bottom as, I don't give a shit, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. And uh, upon entering the portal, I was greeted with a ghast. Ah, hello there. Oh, well fuck me.